Welcome guys to Idle Games TV and we're gonna talk about Idle King the Defense, we're gonna talk about Ryan over here and Blake. Obviously both are warriors, uh, I have maxed them out, they are legendary 5 stars as you can see and we're gonna talk a bit about their skills, obviously they're not gonna be some heroes that you do want to focus on but if you're not gonna get the other ones the s tier ones definitely those or these ones are gonna do the thing until you're gonna be able to gather as many swords as you can for the s hero so let's jump into it so ryan over here it's gonna his main skill will be frost pulse basically as you can see uh, fires a pulse in the area and deals damage of 1k to 1250 percent of the attack now the next next one will be increases their own dodge by 1000 so definitely he's gonna be really, really cool for you to have if you want to keep your enemies as far as you want as far as you can sorry from your castle because that's the main idea guys or the warriors the warriors do not need to do damage don't forget they need to keep your enemies as far as they can and as much as they can because your supporters will do the damage the ones that you the heroes that you're gonna have on the castle now the third one the freeze over here basically the frost pulse has a 100 percent chance to freeze the enemies 100 percent so don't forget sp uh, speed of frozen enemies will decrease by 25 percent for the next three seconds so every time he's gonna freeze the enemies basically you will decrease their uh, speed and obviously they're not gonna reach the castle that fast obviously a cool thing for you to have now the next one the extreme cold speed of the enemy frozen by uh, frost pulse will be decreased by an additional 60% so additional 60% so over here you're gonna have 25 and from here from what I can understand 60% more correct me if I'm wrong but this is almost going to be somewhere around 100 right I mean you're gonna have up to 85% of the speed decrease so definitely will be quite cool now the enhanced pulse over here the freeze duration will increase by five seconds so you're gonna have from here from the second skill from the third skill sorry three seconds and over here five seconds as well so eight seconds the enemy of your uh, the enemy sorry the speed of your enemy will be decreased somewhere around 85 percent for the next eight seconds so definitely he's a cool hero to have if you know do not have anyone to swap him with uh, please drop a comment and let me know which of the S heroes will you swap Ryan with and depending on what kind of stars will he have obviously but let me know what's your main idea regarding the swapping between Ryan now next one will be Blake over here now obviously he is not as let's say good as Ryan but definitely he's a good one to have if you do not have others now let's go to his skills now the knight coercion or whatever strikes down in the area and deals the same amount of damage like Ryan over there so 1250 the next one will increase his own critical by 1000 and the knight coercion has 100% chance to knock the enemy in the air so basically if not frozen the enemy basically he will lift his enemies up now the next one will increase the attack speed by 100 so quite cool and the last one airborne duration will be increased by 2.5 seconds now don't forget those 2.5 seconds add up to the one second over here so basically your enemies will be in the air somewhere around three three point half seconds so it's decent uh let's say cool if you do not have others to uh, swap Blake with but if you have please let me know in the comments below with which hero you will uh, replace Blake in your game but as I mentioned if you will not have others definitely they are quite worth it and I decided to make this video in order for you to see how they are maxed up and obviously what are their skills at and basically what's the time but obviously Ryan is better than uh, Blake so if I'm gonna need to choose between those definitely I will go with Ryan over here definitely a quite cool hero to have now let's go over here in the castle and let's take a look regarding the damage so let's see and Blake does better damage than Ryan as you can see so almost 10x damage than Ryan so that quite sucks but it's up to you depending obviously on your main purpose don't forget as I mentioned the warriors are there to basically stop your enemies from reaching the castle that's the main idea not to kill your enemies outside the castle so they need to slow their enemies down in order for your supporters to do the damage don't forget about that Okay guys, until next time, take care, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, bye.